Hi, I'm again, mm -hmm. Professor <coughs> Please raise your hand, those of you who gave or received negative feedback in the past. Yeah. Um, it just happens every day. It happens everywhere. It's a, the work being the subordinate of us and at the same time in the family. And you being in the different roles, right? Husband, wife, father, mother, son, daughter, whatever. It just happens every day. The consequences can be catastrophic. If we're talking about the job, the work, the person can be fired of the negative feedback. Or if we're talking about the person who gives negative feedback, he can fire the person, right? Which is a very difficult situation. If we're talking about the family, the person can break his relationship with the relatives, which again, very uh, difficult part. If we talk about feeling, the person who gives negative feedback, what do you think? What do the person feel who gives negative feedback? Anger, helpless, unsatisfied. Why? That's because of broken deadlines, unachieved tasks, change schedule, right? If we're talking about the business terms. If we go to a person who receives feedback, what do he or she feel? Guilty. Silly. Humiliated. The one is the same. Both people feel negative emotions. And today, I want to talk you and tell you six, sorry, seven golden rules from Toastmasters International. Seven golden rules, which are prepared from the U.S. And uh, the one, the one interesting situation is that I already talked here in this club about all topics: family, work, hobbies, failures, achievements, and so on and so forth. Today, I want to be more practical, more useful. I decided to talk about seven golden rules. And sure, can you open this jersey, please? There you can find seven blank papers. I honestly speaking didn't expect so many guys. And uh, uh, no, 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 you, 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 you should open. Yeah. And uh, the first one. Oh. No, 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 no. I think. Yeah, you can. The, see the first one is open. Yes. This one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. No, 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 no. Vice versa. Yeah. 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 I ask you, please, can you change from? Can you change yeah, to the vice versa from one to another? When I will say to the first point. Provide two, three minutes evaluation. Dear audience, why? Why not ten seconds? Why not 10 minutes? Because the two, two, three minutes is the ideal time to give evaluation. In this time period, you can, in this time period, you can say about the strong parts of the project, team, uh, colleagues, as well as include the room for improvement. And here I can ask you, what is the proportion, right? If we go to strong parts of the uh, evaluation and as well as weak part. For sensitive people, for people who are icebreakers, for people who are new with this work, for people who this project is difficult, there is a, just an easy golden rule, 80-20. 80, 20. 80 was the strong part, which was good, and the 20 where that person, that team, that project can be improved. Simple. If we go to experience guys, 50-50, the half can be uh, what was good, the half can be what can be improved. Simple, right? The next one, use I statements. So, guys, what is the, what, what is the difference between you fail with something, you didn't achieve, instead of saying, I was confused, I didn't understand this and that. In this way, when you're talking about from I, with the I statements, you give room and space for other person to accept or reject, but being the polite, right? At least. 
simple. The third one, give, well, the third one, give specific examples. And this is very easy, right? Each of us coming here today to the meeting, finding the, the place where we can go to relax, or oh, husband, wife, whatever. We always have the goal to achieve. So with this goal, with this objective, we should evaluate. So I wish that Amira will evaluate, evaluate me with that uh, points, not with the different points. The next one, the provide feedback rather than advice. Guys, what is the difference between advice and feedback? Honestly speaking, for me, it was very difficult to understand. The most difficult point out of the seven. Both of them provide the opinion, right? But if feedback stops on your opinion, saying I didn't understand, I was confused, advice goes to recommendation, to call to action. Better provide feedback rather than advice. The next one, please. Know your audience, know your speakers, uh, goals and evaluation. I already thought about it. The next one, highlight strong points. And I already told that you already should be concentrated what was good. It is very important. And in the end, just conclude with a summary. Simple, right? So dear friends, I wish today all the seven points can give you the approach, the instrument that in the future can change your society around you. I especially didn't print it to distribute because I ask you, our BPPR, to post in the internet so that anytime when you want to give effective, positive evaluation, you will go search, remember my speech, and say thank you a lot. So, thank you guys. Thank you.